thanks so much. I really appreciate this. And I am thrilled and, you know, flattered that so many of y'all are actually joining me for this because it is a little bit more of a cold pitch of this is what my business is. Um, but I do always welcome questions. If you ever just have a quick question, please feel free to send me an email or a DM on any of the social media platforms you find me on. But my name is Izzy and my goal is to help Chambers of Commerce sustainably grow their membership and digital footprint so that you can focus on the bigger picture, which is your community impact. For those of you that don't know me, I, like Tiffany said, I was with the Little River Chamber in South Carolina for seven years. In my time there, I actually grew our event attendance by 36% in just my first year there. I doubled our email newsletter click-through rate, and I grew our reach per post on Facebook. That's that You'll find that's actually my favorite stat for Facebook is reach per post. I grew it 800% in five years. And then we also won the Communications Excellence Award in 2019 from CACCE for our website redesign in 2019. And I was just the lead chamber staff person on that. And we had a staff of three at the time. And I also recently finally graduated from IOM. So I'm also very excited about that. And my board members liked me. So my, port, my point really here for this side was besides reminding you that I'm a real person is that I drink the chamber Kool-Aid. As a chamber staff, I very quickly found that many marketing companies just don't quite get chambers, which leads to chamber staff doing all of the work and the big, the big companies just kind of hit that send button. And that sucks. <laughs> so. You know what they say, create the change that you want to see. So I've decided to create my own marketing agency that specifically services chambers of commerce. Using digital marketing, I want to help grow your chamber so you can focus on growing your community impact. Very good. Well, I just wanted to share, uh, she talked about the Low River Chamber. That's where she was uh, previously. And Jennifer Walters is the president and CEO. And Jennifer shared the following quote with us. As I had the privilege of working with Izzy the past seven years, I know how valuable her knowledge and services are to an organization. I highly recommend to anyone the opportunity to work with Izzy for your project. So there's kind of four main ways that I do this. The first is DIY is I actually put out a lot of free content on my blog. You can subscribe to my email list, my YouTube, other social media platforms. Like I said, you can DM me on any of those. I love to answer questions and I love to help. I also am working on some online courses. I have one available now that is um, less than $50 and it's how to create a content calendar just because that was a frequently asked question I was getting all of the time. The third is what I'll talk a little bit more about today is some package services. So if you already know what you need and you just don't have time to do it, there's an Izzy for that. So I can create a flat project-based fee so that you're not paying for things that you don't want, you don't need. I can put together a specific proposal for you. I've also put a few in this presentation just to kind of give you an idea because that was always my first question. It's like, okay, how's this? How much is this going to cost me? Because I don't like to talk to people. I'm actually an introvert. I don't want to talk to a salesperson if I'm not already interested. So, but I will still also say no pressure. I will also kind of try to get y'all to book some time with me on a calendar to schedule a meeting with me. But again, even those meetings is no obligation, no pressure. I will give you the information. Of course, I want to sell you, but I don't want you to hire me if you don't want me and if you don't need me. So grain of salt. And then the fourth is actually, I call it a monthly retainer. So if you need a lot more help, or if you just don't even know where to start, or if you're short on staff and you kind of need somebody in the meantime, before you hire your actual next person, your actual next employee, you can actually hire me as an independent contractor. You don't have the commitment of an employee when you, when you bring me on as a retainer, because you can just say, Hey, Izzy, we're not going to use you at the end of the month. You don't have to worry about the other cost of having an employee. And I say, that's great. I'm, I was so happy to be involved. I'd love to help out again if something comes out in the future. It is no pressure. It's just business. So that is one thing that I personally like about that. And there are also four main categories that I tend to help other chambers with. The first is social media, just because that's what people ask me about. And I want to help you with whatever I can. The next is email marketing. And then I also do website content. So I'm not, I'm never going to offer to build you a new website, but I can get in there and fix some of the content, help you get found on Google, found by potential members. I also like to do a little bit of menu restructuring or some restructuring to make it flow better where it makes sense because you want your current members to be able to find what they're looking for. Otherwise they're having a disconnect. And for them, that's not a good chamber experience, even though you don't know about it. And then I can also do some graphic design and some video editing and some one-off things if it comes up. 
So like I said, I wanted to show you some specific packages just because I know that's going to be a question. The first one is my very favorite. It is a new member welcome email series. I have already started this for the Caldwell Chamber in North Carolina, if you want to send Brian any questions about that. And this is actually a customized 12-part email series that features a mix of scheduled and automatically sent emails to your newest members. And we can also word it and set it up so your current members can get it as well. And these are done, I actually, not only do I draft and write them, but I will log into Constant Contact, whatever other email marketing provider that you use. I also will log into Chamber Master or whatever other CRM that you use, and I will set it up for you. So all we got to do is I kind of run through it with you to get the approval, to see if there's any edits or changes that need to be made. And all you got to do is say yes and hit that button when we're done. And and then I will give you some specific action items that need to be added to your new member checklist to make sure that they're getting these things. And the next other thing that I, I get asked about is done for you email support. So if you're shorter in staff and you need somebody to just help schedule your mass emails for you, I can schedule about five a month for $6.99 a month. I can also do an email refresh, which is where I look at your current emails. And in, again, inside Constant Contact or whatever you're using, I will make a copy and I will redesign it in a goal-oriented way. And what I mean by that is your email newsletters usually have a different goal than your other emails. So your email newsletter, you probably want a bunch of click-throughs because you're probably putting a lot of content in there and you probably want them to be clicking through to different things for a reason. There's also other emails that I just want them to open it and read it. So that my goal for that is to kind of get rid of all of the extra links and to put a really good subject line so that people are opening it and just reading the content because it's just valuable information. That's all that is. And so for those of you that are worried that you can't afford those, I got some math for us. So again, I told you that my favorite one was that new membership email series that's kind of semi-automated. Well, one way to look at it is the value of your membership retention. This was a real quote that I went and got. There was a study done by New Member Engagement Study by Dynamic Benchmarking and Kaiser Insights. And they found that when you have a comprehensive onboarding plan, you see like 10 times... Um, sorry, I got to word it right so I don't mislead you. It was a 10% improvement. So that instead of 60%, you would actually see 70% retention. That's where I'm getting that actual 10% from. Um, so I put in some math. If you have about 300 members and the average actual price of membership that they actually pay you is about $200 and your goal is to renew an extra 10% of those members, then that is worth $6,000 to you. So that's kind of how I look, like to look at some things. Some other popular packages that I've been asked about is done for you social media. And it is a little pricier the first month. The first month I charge $950, but then after that, it goes down to $450. And that's because I actually do a really in-depth audit. I want to make sure we're following a lot of best practices. I will tell you what they are. And then if you approve them, I will go in and do them for you. And then I also like to create an action plan. And for this, yes, if you are keeping me on for those uh, additional months, I will do them for you. But if not, I still like to set up that action plan where you can just take it and have it and you will be able to do those if you would like on your own. So again, I try to do a lot of no pressure things. I just want to give you good, useful information. And I really like actionable information. And then I also have put in some add-on services just because people have asked me about them. So I can also create like your annual reports or your infographics. And that's just like a flat, I try to do a flat fees. That way you don't have to worry and have a lot of like surprise things because I always hated that. So I just do $75 a page, whatever that might be for you. And then I have more math. Yay, math. Okay. So again, we think we can't afford it. However, the US SBA, which we all know and love, they actually recommend seven to 8% of your gross revenue as a marketing budget. And I've gone through a lot of numbers. They all vary. This has been the most solid middle ground number. I've seen some higher ones. I've seen some lower ones. This seems to be the best one. So if you have about $200,000 in annual revenue times 7%, that means your marketing budget for the year should be $14,000. 
no, do not give all of the money to Izzy. I just want you to know that number so that you understand you should have a marketing budget, whether or not you're hiring me. You should be doing something with it because again, you'll hear me say this a lot. If people don't know about the chamber and all the great things that you're doing, they're not going to give you as much money and you need that money so you can go do the amazing community things that you're doing and so good at that I love. You need the money to make those things happen. Um, And I truly believe that marketing helps you with that. And then, like I said, if you don't know what you need, (laughs) you can just straight out hire me as a monthly retainer. You're welcome to renew me for multiple months. I do recommend keeping me on for three months, but I don't actually require a minimum. That way, again, you don't have to worry about that if, if that is a concern for you. So the pros of doing that is that there's no set scope of work. I can do a bunch of random things for you with no hidden fees, no hidden charges. Um, the con of that is if you truly want those things done within that first month, then we're going to have a lot of shorter deadlines where you're going to need to be able to get me stuff so I can work on it. Is he for the two thousand dollar monthly retainer? Does that is the drip campaign and other things are that is that additional or would that be included in the in the retainer? So the way the retainer works is I actually put a time limit. So I call it like a hybrid contract where it's it's a flat fee. I do limit it where I will do 20 hours worth of work. Again, that's my version of 20 hours. So I specifically want to take the things on that takes me 30 minutes, but some people four hours. Those are the tasks I want to take on. I will work on anything I can do. So any of those other packages, happy to work on. Um, if I think I can't do something, I will tell you. Or if I think if I'm getting close to that hourly part, I'll say like, hey, just so you know, I've only got about two hours left. I can either charge an additional hourly rate or we can renew for a next month and I can just wait until that next month until I keep working on this. Um, but that is any tasks. That's kind of the benefit of doing that version. Excellent. Thank you. And I appreciate your flexibility about that, Izzy. It's so it's so great to have somebody because I've talked to other marketing people and like, you know, they don't get it. They don't really, they, they're like, oh yeah, we do marketing. I'm like, yeah, chamber roles a little different. We need like hit them fast and hard all the time, but not yeah. overwhelm them. And then yay, more math, <laughs> but not as much. So if you can't afford that, yes, I am a big fan of hiring locally. I hope you have marketing staff, but again, I have created this agency because I know a lot of chambers can't afford them. And this was part of the reason why. So like I said, I was with my chamber for seven years, mostly focusing on digital marketing. But of course, everybody at the chamber has multiple jobs, multiple hats. So even if we take that down, if we look at just the base pay for a digital marketer, you'd be looking at $75,000 for a year. Or even if I take off the years of experience, the $70,000 becomes the average and $62,000 is the base pay. And I am finding this more and more often that the base pay for most digital marketing jobs for a true employee is start around the $60,000 mark. So as an independent contractor where you can bring me on for a fraction of the time, for a fraction of the cost, I really do try to bring these very skilled, specific digital marketing skill sets to your chamber for a much more manageable rate so that you can keep your wonderful employees. I do want you to keep hiring locally and have a great staff, but I do want to be able to come in in the background and be able to help you out a little bit better to increase your digital footprint so you and your staff can focus on your community impact. So if any of this interested you, uh, what I would really like you to do is to book a meeting. So I have a Calendly link. I like to have a one-on-one conversation. We do it over Google Meet, which is their version of Zoom. And we talk about what you truly want or need. And that way I can kind of gear you towards, like, okay, I think this is what we should do for you. Or if it's just a five-minute problem, we're just going to solve the problem and you're not going to hire me. That's okay too. Again, I want to do something that truly benefits you. Then after we chat about your needs, if we feel like it's a good fit, I'll send you the contract or the proposal if we had to come up with something new for you. And then if you liked it, you would actually need to prepay me at least a 50% deposit and a signed contract, and then I will start working with you. So again, there's a few steps where, you know, yes, I would like to work for you, but I'm not going to hold you to something until you're ready for it. I know it takes a while. You have to go work it out in your budget. Some people need approval from board members. I get it. And that's kind of my point is I like the digital marketing, but I also get the chambers and I want to help the chambers.